Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Eco Plus setting on your EcoBeat thermostat. So I'm going to click back here, and we're also going to go over what the Eco Plus setting is for EcoBeat. So the Eco Plus setting will only be available after about a month of use, and the EcoBeat thermostat collects the necessary data to enable the Eco Plus setting. So just click back to your home screen if you're in your thermostat screen, and this is the main screen for the EcoBeat thermostat. So up here at the top, once you've used it for about a month, you're going to get a notification that Eco Plus is available for setup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this at the top. It says, save money with your time of use rate. Enter your rate in Eco Plus will save you money by preheating or pre-cooling your home before peak electricity rate hours. So what this is, in some areas of the country, electricity is more expensive during certain times of the day. The Eco Plus feature is intended to help you save energy by preheating or pre-cooling your home during those times where energy is at its peak or most expensive so that you're using energy at a lower cost rate to heat or cool your home before the peak demand hours. So I don't have that issue in my local area. It is a flat rate for electricity, but there are plenty of parts of the country where there is a time of use rate or a peak demand charge for using electricity. So let's go ahead and click how do I find my TOU rate or time of use rate or demand rate. And this just shows you how to look for it on your utility bill. So if you want to learn more about that, go ahead, read through these features, and then you can go to your utility bill and get your time of use rate. So I don't have a time of use rate, so I would click this option. However, if I did have a time of use rate, I'm just going to click TOU rate, click on rate here, and then I'm going to click OK. Now I could click confirm rate, but since I don't have a TOU rate, I'm going to click I don't have a TOU rate. So here we're going to go ahead and click done, and Eco Plus has now been set up on our smart thermostat. So what we want to do now is navigate back to the main home screen for the Eco thermostat with the numbers on it. And then all you're going to do is click over here on the menu settings. And you can see at the top that we have the Eco Plus right here. So we just go ahead and click on this. Now, once you have the Eco Plus set up, you have a lot of different settings that you can use to save more energy. And that is the primary function of the Eco Plus setting on the EcoBeat thermostat. So the most simple use of the savings in how you save money and energy with the Eco Plus or Monergy is to just go ahead and slide right here and you can have the minimum savings of one to three percent or we can go into the moderate savings range and we'll get up to one to 12% additional savings, or we can go all the way over here into the maximum savings up to 20% additional savings with our smart thermostat. So I'm just gonna leave it all the way over here to the maximum. Now, what happens when you have it on maximum or minimum is that on the maximum savings, it's going to let your home typically get a little bit hotter or a little bit cooler when you're away from it to save energy or just tweak your HVAC set points a little bit more to save you the most energy. Now, in order to get the Eco Plus savings, the most important thing is that you have it enabled up here at the top. So you can actually click on this and you can enable it, you could disable it for today, disable it for a week, or disable it indefinitely. And you may wanna do that on a really hot or really cold day so that you're getting a more comfortable temperature, but maybe you're not saving as much money. So I'm just gonna click enable and click okay and leave it on. But if it is disabled, you will need to enable it. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the Eco Plus settings and see what we can adjust here. We click on the first one, Smart Home and Away. Smart Home and Away uses your Ecobeat sensors to determine if you're home or away and minimize wasted energy. This helps Eco Plus readjust. So even when your day doesn't match your schedule, you won't feel a difference. So built into the Ecobeat thermostat and on these Ecobeat room sensors or temperature sensors, there are motion detectors in here that can tell if you're home or away. And when the Ecobeat thermostat detects that you're away, 
it's going to try and save you energy by putting the thermostat down to a more energy efficient setting. So typically that means it's going to go a little bit hotter in the summer and it's gonna be a little bit cooler in the winter. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave this enabled. We want that smart home feature enabled, but you can see right here that you can slide it back and forth. So we'll leave it enabled because we want the maximum amount of savings out of our Ecobee thermostat. So let's go back and now we're gonna look at some of the other settings. Schedule Assistant. The Schedule Assistant learns your behavior using Ecobee's built-in occupancy sensor to build a better schedule for you. So this is going to take your actions, your inputs that you are putting into the Ecobee thermostat, whether you're manually adjusting it every day or whether it detects that you're not there through the motion sensor on the smart thermostat or through your occupancy sensors. And it's going to automatically tailor a schedule a little bit better for you to save energy. So if every day you leave to go to work at 9 a.m., it's going to then learn that at 9.15 or so, it should turn down the HVAC system to save more energy. So once again, this is already enabled. We're going to leave it enabled, and then we're just gonna click back. Now, the next setting we're gonna click on is feels like. Here it says humidity can affect what the temperature feels like. And typically lower humidity, it's going to feel a little bit cooler and higher humidity, it's going to feel a little bit warmer. So this adjusts the temperature set points if your humidity is a little bit higher or colder and uses a formula to determine what the humidity and current temperature are and then adjust that in order to save energy. So if it's really 72 in your house but you have higher humidity and it feels like 73 or 74, it's going to leave it at that set point for a little bit longer or at least adjust the algorithm because it feels closer to 74 when the actual reading of the temperature is 72 on the thermostat itself. So now we're just gonna click back. Now the next option is time of use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Now, not every area has this issue or has this available. So time of use or demand response or energy demand rates really vary throughout the country. So I live in an area where my electricity rate is the same no matter what time of day it is and no matter the demand of the local area. However, there are areas of the country where the cost of electricity fluctuates based on the time of day or the demand in your local utility area. And at times of high demand, you're going to pay more for electricity than at times of low demand, like nighttime. So typically the most electricity demand happens on a hot day during the day when everyone is at work and everyone has their air conditioning on. So I could turn this on right here and what it's going to do is then try and preheat or pre-cool your home to try and save you energy so that you're not using the most energy at the most expensive time of the day. So if you live in an area with a time of use or demand energy use charge, then you would go ahead and enable this and click it over and it's going to help you attempt to save energy during those peak demand times or high electricity use rate times. So now we're going to go back to the main menu here and all we've got left is the community energy savings. So let's go ahead and click on that. It says high energy demand from your community can exceed supply and lead to outages. Eco Plus works with your utility provider to prevent them. So there are some utility providers that will work with companies like Ecobee and Nest and Google in the smart thermostats and will actually provide you incentives or discounts on your utility bill for enrolling in these energy savings programs. And sometimes it's 10 or 20 or $50 and when you participate on a really hot day, basically what's going to happen is it's gonna turn your air conditioning down or preheat or pre-cool as part of a community program. So if there's thousands or tens of thousands of people enrolled in this community energy savings, rather than having all 10,000 people drawing power at the same time, it might have 1,000 people draw power at one time, another block of 1,000 people draw power for another 15 minutes, and another couple thousand 
staggered at another time. Or if the demand exceeds what the capacity is, it's going to just retard those temperatures a little bit and not have the air conditioning go on for a period of time. Now, typically you can override these settings if it is a really hot day and for whatever reason, you need to turn down your air conditioning, you can do it. Most of these programs are fairly simple and not all of them will offer any kind of savings. However, you can do your part to help save energy if you want to just by enabling this and sliding it over. So we're going to go ahead and click back and that is all the settings for the Eco Plus thermostat setting. So I hope this video helped you understand what the Eco Plus setting is on your Ecobeat smart thermostat. And if you don't have this setting available yet, just give it a little bit more time as it does typically take about a month for it to show up and collect enough data in order to enable it on your Ecobeat smart thermostat. So thanks for watching. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.